Hi. Suddenly, with the election of George Galloway, the yet-to-be-declared general elections become more interesting. Galloway stated that his Workers' Party of Britain will stand 90 candidates, but more alarmingly for the barely animated block of wood Starmer is the fact that the Workers' Party and certain locally supported independents could severely erode the Labour vote in such areas as Tower Hamlets and even pick up a seat here, where in Bethnal Green, Tasmin Akaji could dislodge the Labour incumbent. There's some panic in the Labour establishment that such luminaries like Pet Prol, Angela Rayner, or the slimy West Streeting could face a serious challenge. Normally, I wouldn't get too excited, but the possibility of destabilisation of an already creaking political system will be a welcome relief from the decaying, increasingly irrelevant lab con duopoly. Also, it will provide real entertainment. There's an added bonus. <coughs> Plenty of double ironies here. Reform UK, the phony right-wing populists, Brexit party out of the UKIP, will pick up over a million votes and yet not a single parliamentary seat with this unbelievable leftist Muslim independent coalition still coalescing, aided by the demographics, although picking up far less votes, could, ironically, win a seat or two. Another question is, now Galloway and independents are standing with the express intention of making political life as miserable as possible for Starmer and Labour, with the other leftist formations, such as the recently minted Transform Politics, put up candidates against the Workers' Party and independents, splitting the insurgent vote and enabling Labour to hang on to a few seats? Or will they now start bleating, vote Labour, kick out the Tories? What with trust in Parliament, politicians down to an incredible 20%, the main buys in such disregard, even with the result of the forthcoming election, an inevitable Labour landslide by default, could the game be finally coming to an end? All this aside, let us express our discontent on the streets and not via the ballot box. Bye.